The Kamboja Pala dynasty ruled parts of Bengal in the 10th to 11th centuries CE, after invading during the reign of Gopala II, the Palas. The last Kamboja ruler of the Kamboja Pala dynasty Dharmapala was defeated by the South Indian Emperor Rajendra Chola I of the Chola dynasty in the 11th century. Origins During the last centuries BCE, many clans of the Kamboyas entered India in alliance with the Sakas, Pallavas, Yavanas and spread into Sindhu, Saurashtra, Malwa, Rajasthan, Punjab and Surasena. An offshoot of the Meerut Kamboyas moved eastwards and entered the Pala domains and in the 10th century, conquering northwest Bengal. Kamboja tribes were employed by the Palas following Devapala's conquests due to the lack of native cavalry in Bengal. <inaudible> Ancient sources on Kamboja rule in Bengal There are several ancient inscriptions which attest Kamboja rule in Bengal and Bihar. The most important sources are Dinajpur Pillar Inscription The Dinajpur Pillar Inscription records to a Kamboja king called the Kamboyanvaya Gaudapati i.e. Lord of Gauda. The pillar inscription was originally established in a Shiva temple that was built by the king but removed to Bangar, about 40 miles east of Gauda, during the period of Muslim rule. During the 18th century, the pillar was further moved to Dinajpur by Maharaja Ram Nath and as a result, the inscription came to be known as Dinajpur Pillar Inscription. The Dinajpur Pillar Inscription dates to the second half of the 10th century. <laughs> Urda Copper Plate Tamrapatra. The Urda Copper Plate Urda Tamarapatra is another source on the Kamboja Pala dynasty and was discovered in 1931. It is written in Sanskrit and has 49 lines of text in ancient Bengali script. The Vamsa or the tribal identity of the rulers mentioned in the Urda Copper Plate is specifically stated to be Kamboja Vamsha Talaka i.e. ornament of the Kamboja family or glory of the Kamboja tribe. Like the Dinajpur pillar inscriptions, the Urda copper plate is also thought to belong to the second half of 10th century Dr. N. G. Majumdar, Dr. R. C. Majumdar. Hence the academic community believes that the Kamboyanvaya Gaudapati of Dinajpur pillar inscriptions and the Kambojavamshatalaka Paramasaugata Maharajadiraja Parameshvara Paramabhadaraka Rajapala of Kamboja Pala dynasty of Urda copper plate inscriptions refers to the same Kamboja family. But whereas the Dinajpur pillar inscriptions refer just to one Kamboja ruler with the appellation of Kamboyanvaya Gaudapati, the Urda copper plate mentions generation after generation of the Kamboja Pala kings of Bengal, i.e., Rajapala, Narayanapala, and Nayapala, etc. The Kamboja Pala kings of the Urda copper plate had ruled northwest Bengal in the 10th or 11th century. Bangar grant of Mahipala I Bangar charter of Mahipala I is the third very important ancient source of Kamboja rule in Bengal. The charter asserts that Mahipala had reconquered nearly the whole of north and east Bengal, after defeating the usurpers who had seized his ancestral kingdom. The same verse has been repeated in the Amgakhai charter of Vigrahapala III. But, who were the usurpers the inscription does not tell, but other evidences indicate that the rulers belonging to the Kamboja family were in possession of the north and west Bengal." Scholars believe that Mahipala's charter alludes to the seizing of the northern parts of Bengal by Kamboja dynasty from the Gopala II or Vigrahapala II of the Pala dynasty, which the great king Mahipala I claims to have won back by the force of his arms. Topic. Extent of Kamboja Empire No definite information is available on the precise geographical area of the Kamboja Pala Kingdom of Bengal. According to Urda Copper Plate evidence, the Kamboja Pala Kingdom definitely comprised Varadmana Bukti Mandala and Dandabhukti Mandala within the Kamboja Empire. 
The Dandabhukti division is believed to have comprised southern and southwestern parts of district Midnapore as well as the lower parts of river Suvaranraika in district Balasore. Evidence from Dinajpur pillar inscription attests that the Gauta country also formed parts of Kamboja Pala Kingdom. But as long as we do not include northern Lada Radha or w Bengal in Kamboja Pala Empire, the region does not constitute one viable political entity. Hence it appears likely that northern parts of Radha may also formed parts of Kamboja Pala Kingdom. Dr. R. C. Majumdar says that Gauda and Radha both formed parts of Kamboja Pala Empire during second half of the 10th century. The Chandela ruler Yashovarman invaded the Pala Kingdom. Vakpati, a courtier poet, claims that he conquered Gauda and Mathila. It is also stated that Chandela chief Danga of Jijabukti, the successor of Yashovarman, had invaded Radha towards the end of the 10th century. As a consequence, the Kamboja power in the North Bengal received a severe jolt. This political scenario enabled the Pala king Mahipala I to reconquer Gauda from the Kamboyas. The last king of the Kamboyas was Dharamapala who continued to rule Dandabhukti in the first quarter of the 11th century. The Kamboja ruler Dharamapala of Dandabhukti was defeated by the South Indian Emperor Rajendra Chola I who invaded Bengal and Bihar in the 11th century. The capital of the Kamboja Pala Kingdom is stated to be Priangu, which has not been identified yet, though some scholars tend to identify the same with an old village known as Pingvani located in Garvatana. <laughs> known Kamboja kings of Bengal We know the names of three Kamboja rulers of the Kamboja Pala family for sure, viz. Rajapala, Narayanapala and Nayapala. The charter copper plate inscription was issued by Kamboja King Nayapala wherein he and his father are given the imperial titles like Parameshavara, Paramabhuttacharya and Maharajadiraja. The copper plate inscription also attests that the founder of the Kamboja Pala dynasty was King Rajapala. He has been referred to as Kambojavamshatalaka Paramasaugata Maharajadiraja Parameshvara Paramabhadaraka Rajapala. This proves that this line of kings belonged to the Kamboja lineage. The second king is Narayanapala who was son of Rajayapala. Narayanapala was succeeded by his younger brother Nayapala, the author of the Urta copper plate. Dr. R. C. Majumdar states that the expression Kunjurgadavarshan of the Dinajpur pillar inscription indicates that Kunjurgadavarshan was personal name of Kamboyanvaya Gadapati of the Dinajpur pillar inscription. If this is so, then this Kamboyanvaya Gadapati is the fourth known Kamboja king of Kamboja dynasty of Bengal. Some scholars however believe that the Kamboyanvaya Gadapati of the Dinajpur pillar inscriptions is same as Kambojavamshatalaka Rajapala of the Urta copper plate. This does not seem to be true since Rajapala of the Urta copper plate is described as devotee of Buddha whereas Kamboyanvaya Gadapati of Dinajpur pillar inscriptions claims in his own inscription to be a Shiva devotee. It may however be possible that Kamboyanvaya Gadapati is same as Kamboja King Nayapala of the Urta copper plate since King Nayapala also claims to be a Saivite Shiva devotee in the Urta copper plate. The last known ruler of the Kamboja Pala dynasty is stated to be King Dharamapala who ruled in Dandabhukti in first quarter of the 11th century. <laughs> Religion of Kamboja rulers of Bengal The Kamboyanvaya Gadapati of Dinajpur pillar inscriptions is stated to be a builder of Shiva temple and therefore was devotee of Shiva. He is said to be a great bestower of the charities. Kambojavamsatalaka Rajayapala, the first king of the Urta copper plate is referred to as Parama Sagata devotee of Buddha. The third ruler Narayanapala Kamboja is stated to be a devotee of God Vishnu. King Nayapala Kamboja, the author of Urta copper plate is known to have practiced Shiva cult. There is no information on the Kamboja ruler Dharamapala, but it appears likely that he may have also been a Vedic follower i.e. either Saivite or a Vishnu devotee. The Urta copper plate has references to Hindu gods, high-rising temple buildings as well as to the sacred smokes rising from the Yajna fires into the skies. This again alludes to the Hinduism of the Pala Kamboyas. Urta copper plate also makes special references to the Purohits, Kritivajyas, Dharmagas and other holy officials. Thus we find that the Kamboja kings of Bengal were mostly Vedic Hindus, of course, with the exception of King Rajapala. 
Mention is made of grants of lands and villages to the Purohits in the Burdwan district of East Bengal. According to Professor R. C. Majumdar, "...more significant, however, is the inclusion of Purohits in the land grants of the Kamboja, Varman and Sena kings of Bengal. It indicates the great importance was attached to religious and social aspects of administration during rules of these dynasties which were all followers of Orthodox Hinduism." Dr. B. N. Sen says that the Buddhism which had followers in the early Pala and Kandra rulers was probably on the decline in Bengal during the 10th century. On the other hand, the Vedic religion was on the rise. Since the Kamboja Pala kings of Bengal were mostly Vedic Hindus, hence they must have got full support from their subject which must have helped them raise a powerful empire in Bengal. Kamboyas in caste system of Bengal In the ancient caste classification in Bengal, there are references to people who came as invaders from northwest or accompanied the invaders. These people have been described as malechchas in the Brahmanical caste system in Bengal. Ancient Sanskrit and Pali texts and inscriptions profusely attest the Kamboyas as a Malechcha tribe of Uttarapatha or Yudhishya division belonging to Indo-Iranian or Scytho-Aryan and not to the Mongolian stock. The Northwesterners including the Kamboyas, Sakas, Hunas, Yavanas, Abaras, Kasas, Sabaras, Tarushkas, Sumas etc. have all been labelled as outsiders, foreigners or Malechchas within the Bengali society and therefore were left outside the caste classification of ancient Bengal. 1. Compare also, Part 2, v. Ancient Peoples of Bengal, 2. Evidence on later Kamboja rulers in Bengal There is a literary evidence which attests one Kamboja king known as Jagan Nath ruling in Bengal as late as the 16th century. King Jagan Nath is stated to have patronized a Brahmana scholar Sura Mishra who had composed Jagannathaprakasa, a Smriti Granth in honor of this Kamboja king. Ashish.Kambojakula.Vaitansa Shri Jagana Natha Iti Parsita Akaryad Dharmanabandmatam Dradapayapayarkablai Enreshethis shows that the Kamboja rule in some parts of Bengal must have continued, as late as the 16th century. See also Gopala Dharmapala Middle Kingdoms of India <laughs>